Hello, welcome back to Design Spec. Today we'll be showing you how you can make a custom report from scratch and how you can adjust some of the existing templates we have. So go to the Report Setup tab. You'll see um, there's a place here where you can upload your company logo. This will show up on the cover page and the footer of the reports. If you have a preamble or document you'd like to include at the beginning of every report, you can upload that here and you can set the default font. Um, you can see we have a number of reports by default included. You can make a few adjustments to the, the font. So click on the item you'd like to change and you can adjust the font itself. You can change the size and you can change the color. And this goes for anything you click on. You can make adjustments to make this a little more branded to your firm. If you'd like to create a brand new report, go to New and select either table-based or full-page report. So this is like the spec index, and this is the full page. So let's first look at the spec index. It comes with the project information and revision dates included at the top already. And what you want to do to add info is to go Add Cell, and now you'll see the first cell here shows up. So here, let's try something like um, quantity, the top is the title of whatever information is in the cell, and then you want to link that to something you've inputted in the spec. So in this case, you'd probably want to link it up to quantity. So if you select something from this list here, it's going to input the information you've put into the spec and draw it into this cell. Let's add another cell. This one we can name spec code and then we'll tie it into the code. Now we might want to add maybe a little more information so you can add more to this box. Go to add field and now you can type in uh, maybe the description. So you'll have in this box you'll see the spec code and the description. So there's some more tools here. Um, if you'd like to make this a little wider you can increase the size of the cell. You can always move it over too. So if you see it here, it's on the left. Use the arrow and now it's on the right side here. Let's add another cell and let's call this vendor. And here we'll include a few pieces of vendor information. Let's say vendor address. Let's add another field and we'll include the vendor name. Now if we want this information to show up down here along the bottom, go down here and select full row span. Now you can see the vendor will show up underneath these main cells here. So go along and keep on adding cells. So you can add as many as you like. You can also add one for the thumbnail image. And then you can select the image. Now this is where the picture of the spec will show up. So um, if you'd like to change the, the size or the font of any of these, click on them and you can either use the default, which in this case is Arial, or you can turn it off and select from a number of different font options and color options as well. Now if you scroll to the top, you can see you can change the title of this report so if you're making maybe a lead time report, you can call it as such and then click Save. You can also create a new full page report. This works a little differently. Um, in this case, you select the different information you'd like to include and you drag and drop it over onto here. So first we can add the company logo. Now we can um, adjust the size of this and we can make it centered within its own little unit. And if you'd like to add some space over here on the left, you add blank space. And now you're able to move it over to be in the middle. You just adjust the size of the blank space. Let's add next a line underneath the logo. Um, and then we can add the main image. So here's the supporting images. 
go to add content to add more information. If you have any supporting images like the smaller thumbnails, those can go here and you can you can adjust the size as needed. Maybe we'll add another line. Now we can put something like the spec instructions can go here. Let's add the custom attribute list. So this is going to be all of the all of the attributes you currently have on the details tab of the spec window, which is basically all the attributes, so those will show up. Anything you've inputted will show up here. However, if you would like, you can actually do like a more nuanced version. So you can get rid of this by using the icon, and then you can use the attribute list instead, and then you can adjust what you want to include instead of all of them. So click on it first, and you can see Here's a list of all the things you can add. So you can put in dimensions, lead time, quantity, whatever you want. And then if you want to add something that isn't one of the specification details, if you want to add information about the project, you can add the country, issue date, project number. So you can get pretty specific about what information you want to include here. can also include the linked specs down there, and you can change the size of it and if you'd like to move it over. Go to add content, and then you can either include something new on the left side, maybe designer approvals, and that will move things over, or you can add blank space again, like this. You're also able to add a single attribute by dropping this in. You just click on it and then you select what you would like this to be. So maybe this is the code and you want this to be near the top. You can also choose to add text. Let's scroll down a little bit. Include the text here. Click on it. And then you can label this whatever you like. So you could call it office address. And then you can choose from um, maybe your project information and include some things here. You can also call it manufacturer. Select from the manufacturer drop down. And then you can start to add in all kinds of information about your manufacturer. When you're ready to, to save it, you can call it whatever you like. Click Save. And now you can start generating a report with this new layout. I hope this was helpful. Um, please let us know if you have any questions. We're always happy to help. Thank you.